Hello guys, welcome to App Classes. Today I'm going to show you how to implement QR scanner in your Android application using Kotlin. So basically, uh, nowadays QR code is more often getting used in real life scenario. So in uh, most of the apps, you need to you know uh, implement QR scanner. In order to do that, we are uh, I'm using a third party library uh, for my application. I will give you the link in the description. You can get that from there. So uh, we are going to you know uh, implement QR code is basically. Uh, having some data through uh, in place of you know writing something we are just directly get that data from scanning that specific qr code so for that i have created a, a new android project uh, which name is qr scanner and uh, it is i started with an empty activity so let's get started with this uh, first of all i'm going to you know uh, implement uh, that third party library in our application uh, here it is so for that we have to you know add that dependency in our application gradle just copy this and go to your app module gradle and implement that sync your project so we have uh, you know get that third party library in our application and now we just need to uh, create the view for our application uh, for this application, let's. I'm assuming that whenever the application is going to you know open, uh, we will start the scanning. We will start scanning and all. So let's see how we are going to do that. Okay. So here is your constraint layout. Let's say I don't want this constraint layout. I am just adding the relative layout here. that's it that's the main activity and here we are going to you know uh, implement that specific uh, field the specific qr scanner here you don't need to write this all uh, by your own you can go get to that uh, link of that library that i mentioned in the description and from there you can uh, you know directly access everything's uh, everything i don't know you don't know to worry about all these things so as you can see whenever i just put this code scan review it is showing me uh, everything here and uh, let's give it some id scanner view uh, get back to the our main activity and start putting about this how it is going to work right so this app is basically going to you know uh, open your camera for uh, scanning this thing camera permission so we are going to implement that in the manifest that we want we are we want this type of permission Cool enough. Okay, so let's get back to this. Okay, so we are going to define private let in it. Sorry, let it where code scanner, <coughs> and here we are going to give it some code scanner equals to. Sorry. So code scanner this and this and this wants a view of the code scanner as well. Uh, so scanner view. F. Uh, this library needs uh, which camera you are going to use for this. So I'm just going to tell him that uh, sorry, back camera is mostly we use for scanning the QR. Like you can use uh, whatever camera you want to. Like uh, we mostly use the back camera in order to you know scan the QR code. this is going to start by the format for the kind of barcode or qr code or list of something we are going to uh, scan it will uh, capture all, everything now let's say we want code uh, this mode to uh, because uh, <coughs> i don't want any anything trouble in the rfp sorry for my uh, voice um, next uh, we need to you know Tell that uh, what will be the scanning mode for this. Uh, sorry, code scanner dot scan mode. 
it will be scan mode it will be scan mode dot uh, let's say we want uh, single right single ones and code scanner code so to focus enabled let's make this true by default i am not going to you know on the flash so i am uh, setting this as a true now we need to you know implement the callbacks for this uh, code scanner whenever the uh, some, something is get scanned whenever um, that specific qr is scanned we are going to get a response from that uh, camera right that we have scanned something and uh, for that we need to decode that callback something like this uh, we are going to run this on a ui thread and whenever you uh, scan this just close the things let's say the scan result whatever they are in that specific thing and we are going to you know to start uh, let's say long length and dot so if uh, there might be possibility that that uh, code scanner is going to you know uh, give you some error so we are going to handle that error as well like error callback something like this we are going to run this on UI thread and to start text is this and let's say camera error the dot message of that is uh, sorry message of that is specific here that we are getting to start length long comma so that's it so we have handled the um, you know error part and big code whatever it is that's it i guess i will by default start the scanning and all let's say now we have to you know on resume whenever activity get uh, you know someone minimize or some call is bit in between is scanning we need to you know start that thing qr scanning is getting interrupted because of some another activity in your android phone so we need to you know resume on resume we are we need to start the uh, scanning again so we have implemented on resume as well for uh, you know start getting things um again for i'm sorry so we need to that start preview that's it okay but make sure that while you are doing these things uh, you need to also release the resources that are captured by that uh, qr scanner so that your phone doesn't stop uh, working and all so we need to sorry so we need to implement that logic as well here we are um, that's it so here we are ready with the things that we want uh, let's run this program and check and check whether it's working or not right so i've run this application on my um, device and it's showing like uh, it's giving me the error like uh, fail to connect to camera service it's might be because we are not going to uh, you know get the runtime permission while running this app so let's uh, write the code for getting the permission before running this uh, you know on a start preview we are going to get the permission from the user of camera then we are going to you know uh, trigger the start preview function
right find check permission right so I say if This comma and it is dot Okay, so here we are getting some error. I don't know why it's showing this. So here is the issue. We need to remove this and we want the manifest of that specific Android plus and uh, here it is. Okay, so here we are checking that if uh, if permission is granted, if permission is not granted, then we are going to do something. Otherwise permission is already granted then we will start our code scanner dot start preview right so in place of this we are going to call our check permission this right and here we are going to ask the permission from the user so activity permission this comma array of <coughs> manifest dot permission dot camera right and uh, we have to pass some you know constant in case like when we are going to get the permission uh, result we are going to check that this is from that specific permission uh, const my thing we need to call this as l okay so my camera require camera permission let's say not QBST first and uh, here we are going to here we are going to say this okay so when we are going to uh, when this is going to get that permission we are uh, we will be go good enough to go for that uh, preview thing right control o, uh, uh, Request permission result. This is the thing that we are going to get uh, whenever the user, uh, you know, permission give the permission or deny the permission. We are going to get that callback in this thing. So we need to implement this thing. So we need to, you know, add this uh, permission thing over here, like on request. Uh, request code equals to my camera permission and grant result should not be empty and grant result should have the permission granted in the package manager we have uh, requested permission if user allow the camera permission request the request should uh, request code should be the same as we sent here on um, check permission and after that uh, if the grant result is not empty and grant result user has permitted us for you know scanning the things uh, we are going to uh, we are good enough to go for that let's say uh, let's run this app and test whether it's working or not okay so let's run this and i have uh, here is our app so uh, as you can see it's uh, asking me that uh, allow the pictures and camera or not i'm going to say let's allow this and it is going to open the thing right now we are going to open a QR code and see what it's going to show me. I just put this over here. And 
and uh, it will scan the things right scan result is hello as I press the over there you can see it's showing me that scan result is hello right so as you can see it's working after that you can you know close the things and so whatever the data you want to right so that's it for today thank you guys